about Daniel. So I want to share a screen here. Um, share a screen here. Okay, if you can allow me to share, please. I don't know, Brother John or Sister Michelle there in Tongabi, I don't know. Yeah, she's, yeah, I think now you can go with Okay. Thank you, it is here. Mm, good. Okay, thank you so much. So we are going to study about uh, the book of Daniel, the image of uh, the image of chapter two, and also the animals of uh, Daniel chapter seven. Yeah, we will not we will not manage to finish today, but we are going to start this in series. Uh, after seeing the program that Sister Paula uh, wrote to me, then uh, I decided that maybe we can go with this in series so that uh, at the end we are going to finish yeah uh, why uh, why am i bringing this uh, image and also the animals of chapter 7 is because that's where the prophecy is laid there and also the end of the world is is laying there not only that also the history of the world, it is uh, actually, it is on there. So that's why it is very important to understand the book of Daniel and also the book of Revelation. And the, from the book of Daniel, we are going to correspond also to the book of uh, Revelation. So uh, be with me in this wonderful study. I hope everyone is going to participate uh, where you feel you, you need to ask a question, please don't hesitate, ask the question. Now, uh, as you can see here, I don't know if you uh, you are seeing this, uh, this mouse. Yeah, yes, yes, we are, we are seeing the image of Daniel 2. Thank you. Okay, the image and also the, 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 the mouse, the one I'm, I'm The like animal, yes, Daniel 7, yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, when we are studying this, we need also to study about the history in Genesis chapter 10. Yeah. Genesis chapter 10, uh, that's why we are, we are, we are actually uh, seeing the, the starting point of this history. Maybe we can uh, read first Daniel chapter 1 verse 1. Daniel chapter one verse one. Somebody you can uh, you can read for me in the congregation. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem and besieged it. Amen. Now the the history records that in the third uh, in the third year of the king of Judah. Then Nebuchadnezzar went to go and uh, overtake Judah, and the king was taken to Babylon. And um, uh, this, it was in the third year of the reign of the king of Judah, but at, at the same time, it was in the first year of the, of the reign of King Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. Now, we start here the word Babylon. Now we need to understand where Babylon is coming from. That's an issue here. Because mm. it, it has not just come abruptly. No, no, no. It is coming from the history and it is coming all the way from the book of Genesis. Now, come with me in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 10. We are reading on verse, uh, 
verse 1. Verse 2, we start with verse 1. Uh -huh. You can read for me. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth. Amen. Oh, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, then we, we jump, we go on verse 8. Uh, verse 2, verse, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Continue. And the sons of Cush, Shepha, and Arima, and and Shepha, and Bernard, and Sephepha, and the sons of Rama, Shepha, and Peter. And Cush, he, he began to be a mighty one in the earth. <laughs> Continue. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. For it is said, even as Nimarod, Nimarod, mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel and Erech and Alpha and Gamet in the land of Shema. So carry on. Yes, verse 11, the last one. Uh, out of the of their land went for Asha and Hilda, 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 Hilda and the city, Rehoboth and Gerahar. Thank you. So um, now we see the history now. Uh, very, we are starting now the word, the, where the word Babel in the Bible, the first word appears. It appears in Genesis chapter 10 um, from uh, the sons of Noah. Mm -hmm. That is uh, that is Shem, Ham, and Japheth. These three, th these three sons, we find that now one of them, he bore this uh, called Nimrod through Cush. So Ham had to, had to bear Cush and the Kush had to bear Nimrod. And Nimrod is the one who built Babel. Now, this, the, this was just a, a city in the land of Shina. It's one of, one, one of the cities in the land of Shina. And uh, this city was being built bit by bit, bit by bit. And we, we understand that it is from this um, Babel, that's where the Tower of Babel was built. The sons of men, they thought that God had brought a flood upon the earth and destroyed the, the, the world. So they thought that in this now, we are going to build a tower which, uh, whereby God cannot reach us. And we want to reach there where he stays. And God just uh, used a simple thing, a language, Mm. to confuse everything yeah. and from there people now they said now dividing going this way and this way it is from these three uh from these three sons is where we see the history of the world now is uh, being recorded after uh, noah mm. so my brothers and sisters in other words that's why as christians we need to understand we are all brothers and sisters because we are coming from the, the ruins of uh, Noah, all of us. And if we go up, all of us, we are, going, we are coming from the, the loins of Ad, uh, Adam. It is from these three sons that now the world was populated till now, just after the, uh, just after the flood. Yeah, so now we see the the recording of um, the word Babel. But this Nimrod, he did not only build, a, that is a Babel only. No, no, no. He also built other cities like Nineveh. He also built Nineveh. We, we understand Nineveh. Nineveh, it was also a very big city. 
Now, uh, mm -hmm. if you look at here, if you look at on the map here, uh, on the map, I'll share also this one. Let me see. If I can, so that I can show you. Oh, it, it is only allowing one share. Yeah? Hmm. Are you, able, are you able to see? No. 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 It's no. easier, easier, brother. If you're down the bottom right hand corner there, press uh, Star PowerPoint, and then it shows the full screen, and it uh, gets rid of all this background, and then you can just control it uh, with your mouse, which uh, picture you want to show. Yeah. Uh, Understand? Where you are saying down, I go down the bottom right hand corner, you'll see those four icons. Four icons. And one of them, yeah, no, to your left a bit more. To your left. To your left. To your uh, to left. My le to my left. Yeah, to your left. Okay. To my left here. Yes. Oh. Uh, I can't see arrow. Uh no, too far over. Now go back to where you were, and just to the left of the uh, size where you resize the pictures. Now it's uh, how can I say? And uh, it's really like with arrows, but one facing up and one facing down. If you hover over it, your mouse, your mouse will tell you uh, it shows your uh, star PowerPoint. Okay. Yeah. No, to your right. Keep going to your right. Keep going to your right. Right over. Right over. No, to your right. Right, right, right over. No, no, bring it right over. Mm. Hmm. I forget what you call these icons. So it's see the word comments, where it said comments and notes. Yeah, okay. just down to, your, down to your right a bit. And over to your right, keep going. About two, two, three inches to your right. To your right, keep going. To your right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is another school. Okay, it's okay. Then let's yeah. just continue. All right, yes. I'm right, Justin. Yes, maybe I yeah. can. <laughs> I can help you a little. If people know already where is Jerusalem, then you have yes. to go north. And then okay, very west, yeah, exactly. Very west, and then you are in Nineveh. And you yes. yes. Thank you, thank you. So actually, what Pastor Andrada said, um, I just want to show you the, the maps so that you can see where uh, hmm. Shina, the land the Shina was and the also Babel. Yes. Babel in the modern country today is Iraq. Yes, yes, that's it. Yeah, that, that yeah, that's where the city of Babel was built. Yeah, that's and, north, uh, and the northwest of the world, northwest. Exactly, exactly. And also, it's it, where it, northeast, northeast. Sorry, no, northeast. Yeah, northeast. Yes, that's Iraq. Yes, and also it is in the same place where the land of U was, mm -hmm. where Abraham was yes. staying. Yes. It is this place where God said, Abraham, you need to go out from the from the, from your land, your land place, and go to the land of Canaan, yeah. where Pastor Andrade was saying to the to Jerusalem. Yes. Yes. So we are at the the place called Mesopotamia. It is yes. where we are. Yeah. So that's where the city of uh, Bab uh, Babel was, and also north northward. As pastor, you know, the pastor is saying, that's where Nineveh was. And in Nineveh, it is where uh, we see Syria uh, coming in now. <laughs> so we are in the Middle East of the, we are in the Middle East of the earth. That's where we are. That's where this history is, my brothers and sisters. 
So now we go on now. Now we see, uh, we come now, since we have built uh, the foundation in chapter, chapter 11, uh, chapter 11, we find, uh, we find the, the, the building of, um, Babel. the building of Babel. Yes. That's where we find now the building, the city is being built. Mm. You know, sometimes uh, in school, they have been told that uh, uh, people were just nomads. Uh, mm -hmm. They were moving here and there. Yeah. But uh, actually, yeah. cities started with the, 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 actually with Cain. Cain is the one who started with the, the cities, building yeah. cities. And mm -hmm. uh, when God destroyed uh, the, 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 uh, with the flood, then uh, also now uh, Nimrod came in as building cities. He built many, so many cities. And we see now um, some of them as, I mean, some of the countries are still existing today. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Now we come to, to the book of Daniel now, so that now we can continue the history. As I told you, we are going to start this in a series so that we can understand the subject is prepared, it's, it's long, but we are going to start in series so that we can understand it well. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, when Nebuchadnezzar went to Jerusalem, when he captured the king, he also captured uh, some Israelites mm. whom he came with. Among them were the four brethren who were so famous in this city of Babylon. Mm. Now, Nebuchadnezzar, from, from, the, from the city of Babel, he now started building Building, uh, building on that on, on that uh, platform of the city. In the in the city, now he built the king or I mean the kingdom of Babylon. Mm. It was not only just a city. Now it became a, a what a, a kingdom because he conquered all the countries which were which were uh, surrounding him. He conquered mm. all of them, and uh, he became a king. And now the Babylon was now a kingdom, so that's why the uh, it was uh, it was developed in the kingdom. Uh, now we come to chapter one. Please come with me, chapter one, uh, verse verse eight. Maybe we can start with verse six, verse seven, and eight. Maybe now we can read here. Upon... Okay. Yeah, now yes. among these were of the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Ariok, Asaria. Yes. <laughs> Verse 7. And to whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names, for he gave unto Daniel the name of Belshazzar. And to Ananias of Sadraj, and to Misael a Mesach, and to Azariah Abednego. But Daniel. Amen. Yes. yes. Continue. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king meat, uh, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might be not defiled himself. Amen. Thank you so much. Now here, we find the, these uh, four brethren. That's why it is very important. Before we go to the image of chapter 2, before we go to the animals of chapter 7, we need to understand where these brethren are coming from and why are they involved? We need to understand. Mm -hmm. Now, before, before, before the image and before chapter 7, we find these four brethren. Among them is Daniel. The first thing that the king wanted is to psychologically to change the minds of these young men who came from uh, who came from Judah, from Israel, because these people, they were trained. Remember, their mothers, 
they actually did the excellent work to build these, uh, these young men. They were very young men, but they were built by their mothers, by teaching them that you are the Israelites. Mm. And you, 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 you know, when, when we talk about the Israelites, they knew that these, these, we are the children of God. So these young men, they understood very well that they were children of God. Therefore, now, psychologically, the king wanted now to change their minds. How now, you know, these people, they were, they were learned people also. They were learned. So the king thought, how am I going to change these people so that they can fit in my kingdom? And so that I can use them as among the wise people. He used only a simple thing. The first thing is to change their names. Because their names is symbolize the things or the, the, the God of Israel, the God of Israel. Mm. But in this case, for instead uh, for them to be uh, to, to forget about their names and to forget about the God of Israel, actually what the king did is to change completely their names, mm -hmm. and they, and this is what we, we find here. The second thing, he wanted to change the portion of their of their food. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, I urge you, when it comes to the point of food, it can change your mind. And if you don't want, if you don't want to understand God, just eat anyhow. Just eat uh, whatever you want to eat. Yeah. I can assure you. The spirit of prophecy says, the clogged stomach is the clogged what? Mind. Mm. This is what it says. When the stomach, when the stomach is clogged, what is being uh, what is being clogged also is the mind. So this is what happens. So this this is the psychological, uh, psychologically, um, the king wanted to use to change the minds of the children of Israel to forget about their God, to forget mm -hmm. about the things that they were uh, they were carrying in in their minds. But Daniel knew. Uh, but Daniel, the spirit of God was upon Daniel, knowing that he said. In verse 8, as Pastor read, but Daniel purposed in his heart hmm. that, the, uh, that he would not defile himself with the wine, with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuch, eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now, this was very difficult to the one who was assigned to these people, Ariok. Because he said, if you don't eat this and your body becomes weak, I'm mm -hmm. going to be killed. Then Daniel assured him. He said, if uh, the king, actually it was almost for three years. And you know, three years uh, is, a, is a very high education. Mm -hmm. Three years. It's a degree. Mm -hmm. Maybe the first degree. Yes. Mm. So they were they were apportioned for three years in changing their names so that they can be called, called and until they forget about their names. And also at the same time, they are eating the king uh, the king's food to change their minds. Mm. But these people they, they they stood firm. That's why our children they are supposed to stand firm in the point of health reform, which is very important. You cannot be moved. You cannot be changed. So even if you are sent in schools, even if you are, you are sent in colleges and universities, don't go and mingle with these people. You start eating what they are eating. You are destroying yourself. Don't. But instead, stand firm as Daniel and his friends, what they did. Because in this case, God was preparing them for significant things which he was ahead of them. Now, uh, Daniel he asked Arioko, he said, please just give us only 10 days, 10 mm. days. And in these 10 days, then he said, but after that, try us and see how our board 
our bodies will look like. Of course, then Arioko, he heard about them, then he, he tried them. Now, we see the results in uh, verse 14. Verse 14. Please, you can read for me, Pastor Andrade. Yes, thank you, brother. Mm. So he consented to them in this matter and proved yes. them 10 days. Mm. I continue. And at the end of the 10 days, their countenance appeared fair and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. Mm. Okay, continue. Thus, Melzar took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink and give them pulse. Mm -hmm. As for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skills in our learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Amen. Thank you very much. Now we are coming to the point now. The Bible says, the children of Israel, these four young men, they were given only pulse and water mm. for 10 days. After 10 days, the Bible says, verse, verse 17, as for these four children, God gave them, the first thing, he gave them knowledge. Knowledge. He had to open their minds. Mm. My brothers and sisters, there is wonderful, uh, marvelous thing in eating. When we eat properly, our brains will be opened mm. and we are going to understand the things of God. But if we eat contrary to the will of God, I can assure you, when you when you just starting, start, start studying the Bible, you start dozing like this. Mm. You have no power you have no power. But if you eat according to what the Bible gives us, as, especially when you exercise the health reform accordingly, I can assure you. May I give you one month in this generation, but after that you are going to see that the, the brain will be cleared. And the things which are difficult for you to understand, you start, you start understanding them. Because God, he gave them knowledge. This is what the Bible says. He gave them knowledge. Not only knowledge, but God says he gave them skill. Not only skill. It says he, he gave them skill in all learning and wisdom. In all learning and wisdom. Then it says, and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. In all visions and dreams. It is from this verse where now we are coming from, uh, I mean, we are going to the, the dream of Nebuchadnezzar and also Daniel chapter 7. And other, other small matters that uh, Daniel uh, was giving. But the main purpose was Daniel chapter 2 and Daniel chapter 7. The other things now they come to, to lay on these, we are just uh, now building on them. So this is what exactly what happened. So now we find among these brethren one prophet because of good eating, because of uh, heeding what God has said. Yeah, maybe till where we are now, is there anyone have got a question or maybe want to add? Please, you're welcome. I'd just like to know, did Nebuchadnezzar come from the line, the lineage of Nimrod? Uh, I didn't get him properly. Maybe somebody to... Yes, if if uh, Nebuchadnezzar come from Nimrod line, that's the question. Yes. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, but, yeah, no, no, not, not really um, exactly, but, but it might be the same because it's where, you know, Nimrod uh, was in Babel. 
and so maybe um, assumptions we can make some assumption uh, I'm, I'm i'm not sure so much but he, he is in babylon and also this nebuchadnezzar was born in babylon mm. from his father known as nebopolasa so uh, they were they were in babylon they were dwellers of babylon so I, we may not know exactly if they are coming in, in the lineage of uh, Nimrod, but they they are in the same land, the same place. I don't know if you if you get me. Yeah. Yes, yes, brother. Yes. Thank you. It's yeah. possible because only past thousand years between uh, Nebuchadnezzar, no, and, uh, and yes. Noah, and Noah yes. time. You see, hundred thousand years. It's yeah, possible. almost yeah, almost a thousand years. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Pastor. So it's in the same lineage. As I'm saying, you know, these 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 people, they are coming from these uh, three sons. So if they are coming from these th uh, three sons, exactly, we can trace that uh, they are coming from the same because these they, they remained the same place. Others they went out. Others mm -hmm. they went out, but these they remained there. They were continue building, building, building. As Pastor said, a thousand years. Say it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. But they must be in the same lineage. Thank you so much for that wonderful question, my brother. Yeah. Anyone want to add maybe? Ah, uh, yes. I want to say only a little. These four yes, boys, Pastor. these four mm. boys, Hebrews, they come from the center of the world. Mm. And remember, God put his people in the center of the world and told them mm. how to eat for health. And Nebuchadnezzar wants to obliterate, wants to change totally that. But mm. thanks God, mm. God intervened. And after 10 days, they were more wise, more healthy no? mm. than mm. The, others, the other students. Thank you, brother. Sorry. Thank you, thank you, Pastor. Exactly. You see, God is so wonderful. Mm. You know, I wonder how God works. And even us, as reformers, God wants us to be wise. Mm. He, not only wise in the things of this earth. No, no, no. He wants us to be wise in the things of God, my brothers and sisters. Mm. This is one. But, but we, we are not saying we should not be wise in the things of this earth. No, no, no. We are, we are also supposed to be wise because these people, they were wise in both things, the things of God at the same time, the things of the earth. Because we see that God gave uh, Daniel the understanding of the visions, the visions and dreams. These now are the thing, the concerns of the things of the things of God. Because when they were tried, oh, they, they were found ten times mm. wisdom than those, the children of Babel. Mm. Oh, so wonderful. So my brother, my sisters, please let us try to eat what God wants us to eat. Mm. And we are going to see the miracles, what will happen to us. Our brains will be open and we shall understand many things of the Bible. Even the prophecy, the things that are difficult to understand, we are going to understand them. Thank you. So now, uh, verse 20, yeah, verse 20, Verse, uh, uh, verse 18, verse 18. Uh, my dear pastor, you can finish verse 18 to 21. Okay. Now at the end of the days that the king has said he should bring them in, then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king mm. con communed with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Misael, and Azariah. Therefore stood they before the king. And in mm. all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in, the, in his real. Real. Mm. And Daniel continued even unto the first year of King Cyrus. Amen. Thank you so much. You know, so we see now that it's a, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Mm. It's wonderful. 
You know, when we, when we, when we follow the counsels of God, ah, it is so wonderful. You're going to enjoy yourself. Mm. Now, these children now, they were now actually 10 times, and they came closer to the king. And in all matters of wisdom, the first thing, well, okay, he could inquire, but when they, when they all fell, he could say, there's, there, there, there's the children of Israel. Please call them. They will, come and, they will come and review these things. And this is what we understand. Now, now since we have built the foundation, now we continue. Now we understand where the Bab Bab Babylon is coming from. We understand. And we understand where the, these four brethren are coming from. They are coming from Israel. They, 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 they are brought in the land of Babel. And God brought them for the purpose. And as Pastor said, we, we are uh, actually was the middle center of the world. Mm. And it is, um, it is known that it's like also the Garden of Eden was mm. the same place. Mm. The same place. Because where the river Tigris and the... And the Euphrates. Uh, Tig yes, and Euphrates. Uh, actually, there were three rivers. Uh, but the ones which are mentioned is Tigris and Euphrates. They are there. Yeah. So mm. it is exactly the same place where the Garden of Eden was located. So, um, and uh, it is very unfortunate that uh, the, this place has become a place of ungodly people. They don't, they don't even remember God. It's very mm. unfortunate. Mm. And the people are dying. It's only bloodshed. And of that matter, these people, they are also, they are placed on riches. They are rich. So we need to understand these things, brother. And also the history of the Bible is very nice. And the history of the Bible is the best because you find everything intact. So may God bless you as we continue studying this so that we can open our minds to study the book of Daniel. Even after we finish this study, please, I'm urging of you that go and study the book of Daniel. Go and study the book of Revelation. In as much as we continue meeting, I, we shall continue actually reviewing, uh, reviewing so many things. Yes. Now, let us come to, the, to our image now. The image is found in, in the book of chapter 2, verse 1. Let's read. Daniel chapter 2, verse 1. And in the second year of the reign of the Pianeza, the Pianeza mm. three trains, where with his spirit was troubled, and his sleep broke from him. Amen. Now, um, actually, the Bible says in the second year of reign of Nebuchadnezzar, he had a dream. And this dream, it had actually, it, it had actually, I mean, confused his mind. Mm. First of all, what, you know, what, what God does, that's something which is very, very significant and very important. He gave Nebuchadnezzar the dream and he saw it exactly as it was appearing. But when he woke up, he found that he has forgotten completely, no more mm. to remember. Why? Because... He, he wanted Nebuchadnezzar to go to these three young, uh, I mean, these four young men, to go and inquire from them. Mm. And so that he can see that there is a God of Israel. And the God of Israel is now in the land of Shina. Mm. He is now in Iraq. Yeah? He's there. This is what, you, what God wanted. Now, uh, in the history, after so many years, uh, in, in the chronological of uh, uh, that is uh, no when you come to Abraham uh, the line the Abraham where he is down there you find that there are so many years which passed which passed which passed there and the people they be, they were worshiping gods not God of heaven that's why God had to, to tell Abraham to say please Abraham get out from thy people go where I'm going to show you 
so that, you can, so that you can go and worship me. So God had to direct him to go to the land of Canaan, uh, that, uh, where Israel is now. So that's why, uh, I, I, I mean, Abraham went there. And it's from there, that's why the nation, the nation of Israel is coming from. Now, so my brothers and sisters, we are, we are learning about the history. At the same time, we are learning about the prophecy, which is in the Bible. So now, uh, one, um, he's forgotten completely. After forgetting, the image is this. Then Daniel was called. Uh, because he called all the magicians to go and interpret the, 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 the dream and also to tell the, the king the dream. But the magicians, they said, this thing is, is impossible, king. Because at least you were supposed to tell us, even the dream, how it was. They said, I have forgotten. I can't remember. I can't remember completely. But I said, how, uh, how, uh, where can we start? Then the king was furious. He said, if you don't do this, I'm going to kill all of you, all the wise men, I'm going to kill them. And then he, when they heard this, they said, they remembered about Daniel. They said, oh, there's one man called Daniel. Then he said, go and call him. Then Daniel was called. When he was called, he came in. Then he, he said, oh, the, the king is so hasty. Why? Let him give us uh, some time. Then Daniel, he went and knelt down to God and he prayed. And because chapter one, it has told us that God gave wisdom about Daniel, about dreams and visions. So Daniel, after praying to God, then God gave him the interpretation and also the dream how it was. Then he went to the king. And then he told the king that, oh, king, what you saw is this dream here, the one which is on the, uh, on the, on, on the screen here. You can see how it was. Now, the funny thing is that God had to bring the minerals of this world <laughs> to, make, to make up the dream. And starting from the strongest, uh, the strongest uh, um, mineral, and the strongest mineral that we know in the world is gold. And the, the second thing is what we call silver. Mm. The third is brass. <clears throat> then we come to iron. Then we come to the iron mixed with clay. Mm. So these are the minerals that God gave Nebuchadnezzar in the form of a, in the form of a human being, but divided in that segment. Mm. Why did God bring this? we are going to understand. Then, at the same time, we see that God also, in chapter seven, in chapter two, we find this dream, but uh, God wanted to illustrate the same thing, but on the additional information, God gave Daniel dreams and visions, and he saw these animals you are seeing on the screen there. Mm. There's the first, the first animal here, that is a lion mm. with, with, the, with the what? Wings. With the wings. And then there's the second animal. This bear. is bear. Yeah. Then there's a third animal. Leopard. This is leopard. Then the fourth. The monster. And the, yes, a monster. You can't describe it. <laughs> can't describe it because... Ah, you know, sometimes uh, you, 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 you fail. Even Daniel, you fail to uh, describe the, this animal. It's a mm. terrible animal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, we see God here. Mm. We see the silver here. Mm. We see the brass. We see the iron. And then mm. the iron mixed with clay. Yeah. Okay. So now Daniel said now interpreting, he said, oh, the king, you saw the image of like a sort of a human being. And this human being had the segments of these minerals as we are talking about. Then now the dream was now coming exactly to the king now. Remembrance. You mm. know, the, 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 that, that shadow was removed. And now the king was viewing what he was seeing now. 
And now the king was just there now shaking his head. Said, yes, hmm. yes, yes. When he finished with the toys, then he said, the king saw like a hand. This hand had to, had to cut the, like a stone. And this stone, it had to come and over, I mean, uh, to hit on the, on the toys. And everything was actually taken and broken in pieces and the wind came and brought it away. Hmm. And the stone had to stay there forever. The dream ended there. Hmm. And the king said, yes, what you have said exactly, this is what I dreamt. Hmm. My brothers and sisters, the world history from after, after Adam and Eve, after the flood, after Abraham, now we see the world now is being on calculations now. Very significant. significant. It is on calculations. And now it is from this, we are going to, we are going to understand uh, which uh, BC we are talking about. Because now we, we now enter in calculations, calculations, and that's why it's very important to understand this history. For us to calculate also Daniel chapter, chapter 8, verse 14, we need to understand this. The long, the long prophecy, we need to understand it. Yes. Yeah, is, there, is anybody has a question? Maybe before we go any further, I don't want to, uh, to make one behind. I want you to understand very well the history and also the dream and also about the animals in chapter, uh, chapter seven. We have not started interpreting them, but we are only looking at what Daniel saw at the same time what the king saw, of which also they are talking about the same thing. It is a one, one, one and the same, but in different uh, categories. Thank you very much. You can, uh, you can have some a question or an addition, please. It's, it's only to say about what is going on in Europe today. Yes, because yes, Pastor. All the nations, and now they assume not only 10, but 27 nations that belong to, mm -hmm. the, to the European nations, they are discussing who will rule, but but they have also sometimes touching <laughs> touching the point that is very possible to to come to end with this uh, mm. European unity because it's, it's written in the Bible in the days of those ten kingdoms. But don't forget, it's iron and clay. No? Mm. Mm. They don't mingle. They are they are two different <laughs> substances. Metal mm -hmm. never will mingle mm -hmm. with no way. <laughs> and mm -hmm. and but the problem is clay is the more is the most possible that happened to end with this statue. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Pastor. Yeah, exactly. This is what is happening in this world. You mm -hmm. know, people that try to bring even this uh, uh what, what we call United Nations or what. Uh, last week I was hearing about uh, Israel. The, the way the Israelis were talking in the United Nations, one of the Israelis stood and said, "This United Nation is doing nothing." Now you know, you know, it's, it's like now in in them they are fighting inside there in the United Nations, yeah. the UN. So as Pastor said, you know, European U Europeans they want to to to, to unite. Uh, there are also the Britain, the Britons, they are coming out. You know, mm. these things. What prophecy has said, my brothers and sisters? It is sure. Yeah? Mm. Maybe you can read this verse in uh, uh, Second Peter. Second Peter. Sorry, husband. I have a comment. You would have a comment. Sorry, before you go on, I just find it. Okay. I just find it interesting that the stone that was cut out without end that smoked the image. It hit them on the feet, which is the last kingdom to be set up. And that's the last kingdom that's going to be destroyed in this world. It's the Roman Empire. It's the, it's the papal supremacy. 
that's what I just wanted to say. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much because you, you, are, you, are, you have gone even ahead of me. Thank you, my <laughs> brother. Yes, exactly. Uh, this is what is going to happen. Yes, let's read in um, uh, Second Peter chapter 1, verse 19. Please, second Peter chapter 1, verse 19. Chapter 119. Yes. We also have a more sure word of prophecy. Mm -hmm. Is that is that the one? Yes, 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 yes. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Where unto mm -hmm. you know that it's a key as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arrives in your hearts. Amen. So the Bible says we have got the word of prophecy, which is sure. We don't guess. We don't guess. Well, actually, we are we 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 go exactly what as prophecy has said. So, my brothers and sisters, when we are studying the prophecy, that's why we need to be very careful, and we need also to be um, to concentrate our mind so much on the prophecy because it's the one which makes us be wise and to see the things which are happening in this world and see that we are at the very edge of this world and soon and very soon, Jesus is coming to take us home. Yeah. Are we prepared to meet Jesus? That's the question. Are we prepared to meet Jesus? Because um, we are studying this image. This image is finished, my brother and sister. It is completely finished as I'm talking now. It is completely finished. Now we are at the very edge, the end times. So I'm urging you that as we are coming to the end of this uh, program for today, we shall continue. As I said, we are going to start this in series mm. uh, because we have got uh, brothers and sisters who are, I know some of you, you know about these things, but don't, let, let us not rush. Let us go in uh, bit by bit, bit by bit, so that everyone can understand. So we are for today, we are going to end here, knowing that we have discovered where Babylon is coming from, where these two, where these four children are coming from, and what were, uh, what the king proposed uh, had to change the psychologically of these children, that is uh, to give them food and also to change their names. But uh, we thank God that these children, they stood firm. They said, we, we will not do what the king has said, but instead, we're going to eat what, um, what God has shown unto us. Concerning their names, they said, okay, no problem. Uh, though they were named other names, they did not forget about their God. So my brothers and sisters, let us not forget about God. It is Jesus who died on the cross who want us to understand this history so that we can prepare ourselves and to meet what is coming uh, in this earth. Soon and very soon, the National Sunday Law will break up and those who have been prepared, they, we are going to pass through those challenges. But if we are not prepared, we cannot pass through. Instead, we are going to, the, we are going to be in the enemy's side. It is not in my prayer that we should be in the enemy's side. But we should be on God's side, on Jesus' on Jesus' side. So, Amen. yeah, may God bless you. If anyone has a question or contribution, we end there, please. I know maybe you want me to go and finish there. No, I want. I don't want to finish now. We're going to finish later on. My yes. chairman, please. If if somebody has got a question, you can allow him or her. Thank you. Uh, yes, brother. Uh, there are two things that have to be separated. Europe mm. and United Nations. United Nations yes. is the whole world, no? over 200 nations. But yes. Europe is only 27 nations. Mm. Mm. Discussing mm. who will be the leader. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then, mm -hmm. We yes. will see what happen. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you know, you. everyone, uh, actually everywhere, even here in Africa, they are talking about, they want to have one, one president, in Africa, in Europe, they want they want they were saying they want to have one president. You know, 
they are trying all means and the ways, but, but mm -hmm. the Bible says they will not do that. No. They will not do that. Yeah. Everyone will do they will do like this, the, the other one will pull out just like that. And uh, <laughs> at the end, we are going to find that we are at, we are at the end. Yes. Hitler tried to do it in his time and it failed. And I think Mussolini tried it and he failed. And yeah, so it's not never going to work. Of course not, because prophecy is prophecy. That's right. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So thank you so much, my brothers and sisters. Let us focus on the cross of Calvary and see Jesus dying on the cross. He died Amen. for us. He yes. wants us to be saved. Please, uh, it is my wish and prayer that Amen. one day we meet in heaven and see and greet each other with a victory hand that we have been saved from this Amen. sinful world. Amen. Amen. Okay, brothers, then.